Welcome to Marina's Kitchen. Uh, the other day I made the fresh lasagna sheets. Uh, a lot of feedback was people telling me that they'd like to make some gluten-free lasagna sheets because it's very hard to find gluten-free uh, lasagna sheets except the dry ones. So I thought, no, okay, yeah, you could make them just the same the way I made the other ones. Uh, if you don't have a pasta machine, look, you can just roll it out thinly, just the same. Some people don't have the pasta machine. Now, what I've done here, uh, I've gone ahead and did uh, 200 gram of flour. Now, with 200 gram of flour, I got 12 of these beautiful gluten-free lasagna sheets, which are lovely. Uh, we're still going to boil them about six or seven minutes, the same we do with the other ones. Uh, and then, like there might be a one person in the family that gluten free if you don't want to make it for the rest of the family so these sheets come in handy you can take out as many as you want to the same thing as i told you with the other uh, uh, fresh lasagna sheets i've dried them like that i've dried them you can freeze them you can take them out anytime you want to or you can use them straight away whatever you want to do so there we have 200 gram of uh, gluten free uh, plain flour and we're going to put two eggs to that. I've put two eggs to that we, because you need one egg to per 100 gram of flour. But with the gluten-free flour, we need a little bit more moisture. So uh, when you're doing putting the two eggs in there and you're mixing it around, it might need about a quarter cup of warm water to get that, uh, like that nice soft pile pastry. So anyhow, I've gone ahead and did that. So what are we going to do now? I'm going to do the, 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 plat, the sheets. So with the same process what we did before the other ones, we just cut it up in pieces like that. The same thing, and I, had, I put a bit of flour on it, and then we put it in the large setting of the machine, the same thing, and then we went down to the middle of the machine, And but if you're doing it by hand, just keep on rolling it uh, to a fine thing about that, that you can see through it. So that's all you do. Very, very easy. And it's going to be lovely because uh, when I did those lasagna sheets, I got a lot of people saying, uh, you know, we'd like the gluten-free sheets because we can't find some nice, fresh, gluten-free sheets of pasta. So I thought, well, this is, that shouldn't be hard to make because, you know, we just do the same process. So what we do is we've got the large setting. And what you do, the same thing, just keep on going, put the bit of flour on it because it might, you might need it. Just put some, put a cloth on, the, on, your, on your bench with, some, with the gluten-free flour on it. And that's my first stage of my, and then we go down to the middle setting. We just keep on putting a little bit of that flour to it so it just binds it together nicely and put it through about two or three times the way we did with the other one, exactly the same. Exactly the same. Then we go to the medium setting and then we go to the small setting. So it just works out the same. Uh, it's lovely, it's lovely to have these lovely, uh, fresh gluten-free pasta sheets because those dry ones are really, really hard. Uh, those dry ones you buy in the packets are really hard. I know you. they say you don't have to boil them, but sometimes I give them a boil just the same. Now that's all you need. It's just so simple with the gluten-free flour. The same thing. It goes the same thing. And I, I thought I'm happy that a lot of people uh, asked me to do this because uh, I didn't think of, you know, because they said it's a hard time finding some uh, fresh gluten-free uh, pasta lasagna sheets so I thought okay well I'll, I'll do a batch for you so this is what and with the 200 gram of flour I've done a dozen sheets that's enough for if there's one person in the family that's gluten free and the same thing you just keep on doing that um, just put put some put your gluten free flour on your uh, cloth on your tablecloth there and just put it through like that, that's all, quick. And then what we do now, we'll go on the next level, in the medium setting. And then we go on the last setting, just keep on putting a bit of that gluten-free flour, plain flour on, that it just absorbs that moisture. 
I put it through about two times, two or three times, get that lovely smooth. Oh, that's got stuck there. I'm just put it needs a little bit more flour onto it, so just dip, dip it in a bit more flour through it like that. Now we can go into we can go into the next setting in the middle of this of the machine. Uh, but I'm just saying, if you don't have a uh, pasta machine, you can roll it out just the same. That's why that, that needs a bit more flour to it. So if you need a bit more flour to it, put some more flour to it. Otherwise, it will get stuck. This the the this gluten-free flour is a little bit difficult to work with, but it's just as good as long as you just put a bit of more flour to it and just keep that like that that will go through with that flour and have no problem there you go and, and I make I make 12 sheets with this uh, 200 gram of flour 12 sheets you could make a lovely tray for the person in the family that's gluten free and look there you get those beautiful sheets like that now what you can do is you can you can uh, go to your next level now this is a little bit soft so we have to keep on adding uh, this gluten free flour is a little bit difficult to work not difficult it's just a little bit different so we just have to keep on adding a little bit of flour to it that's all I'll just do that one again because that that one broke. That's all because we need a little bit. We need a little bit of extra flour to it. See, that's better now. And I'll do it again. So with 12 sheets that we get out of this 200 gram, there you go. And then now we'll go into with the the last setting about about three holes from the last setting and just make them actually they're not too bad uh, that when well, they're not too bad that uh, thickness it's really a, not too bad of a thickness really look how they came before uh, that thickness 12 of those uh, beautiful with the 200 gram of uh, of gluten-free flour plain flour Now I'm going to go to the, uh, another setting down further and I'm just going to put that through. There you go, it's lovely and fine. That's, that, that's how it's going to be. Uh, the gluten-free flour seems to separate it a little bit more. You just have to be more uh, careful with it. Uh, it's not like the other flour but uh, it works just the same. Uh, you can just cut them shorter if you want to, but uh, look, it just works out just the same. Lovely and thin, just put them across there and just do the same thing. I've done it about three holes from the last setting, which is just as nice to set in like that. And it's beautiful. That's all we need. And just keep on doing. Now, as I said, I did 12 on that other one, 200 gram, like that. No problem. There you go. Just keep on doing the same thing. And you can freeze them, you can use them straight away, whatever you want to do. I just left them on the cloth there and they just dried out. And when they dried out, I just put them in a tray like that with some baking powder underneath. And, and I've got 12 nice sheets there. Now you can use them, as I said, you can use them straight away or you can freeze them and use a few at a time as you want them. And just keep on doing the same thing to all that. Well, look, uh, that's another of sort of doing with the gluten-free flour. Uh, a lot of people said, can you show me how to do it? I have showed you how to do it, it's not hard. Just using your plain gluten-free flour, you, exactly the same thing was the other one. You put an egg per 100 gram of flour, 
So I've got two eggs there and because of the gluten-free flour I think I needed a little bit more moisture so I put a little bit of warm water, just about a, not even two, two tablespoons of warm water. You can judge it for yourself and then go ahead and do it the same thing. You go in the large setting and then in the medium and then in, if you haven't got a pasta machine just roll it out pretty thinly uh, to a thickness like that and, uh, and just freeze them. You can cook that straight away. Uh, you can freeze them, as I've told you before. And now there you've got some beautiful gluten-free pasta sheets, lasagna sheets, for people that can't have the other flour. So there again, I hope you'll use them because people are finding that it's very hard to buy these fresh ones. They get the other hard ones, the, the dry ones in the packets. But uh, we haven't been able to get these fresh ones. So they don't, don't seem to do them anymore. I don't know why. But anyhow, look, it doesn't, doesn't take long to do it. It's really, really quick. And it's lovely because the, your gluten-free uh, person that's in that family can enjoy a nice uh, dish of lasagna, the same that if you want to do the other one for the rest of the family. So I hope that you'll enjoy doing them. And uh, thank you for watching. Bye.